day three of uh, the trip. Uh, it is now currently 3.30 in the morning. We drove through the night last night. We gained another hour. So when we where we started, it's 5.30, but it's 3.30 here. The sun is already up. It is crazy how long a day you have here. Uh, we are in northern Canada somewhere. But uh, today we're going to be doing a lot of driving. I'm not really sure what to expect, but it's 3.30. Spencer's passed out, and I'm behind the wheel. And it says we're going to get to the Yukon in 23 hours. We're conservation officer. Oh, oh, how's it going? Okay, Good. where are you guys headed to? We're actually headed to Alaska. Okay, where did you guys come from? Uh, we actually just came from uh, Saskatoon area. Okay, did you come over the Alberta border? Uh, Yes, we did. Here by Swan Lake? Yeah, where we're supposed okay. to stop. Alright, so we just got pulled over by this conservation officer. He's actually a really nice guy. We honestly had made an honest mistake. We weren't sure if we needed to basically check Let's be in. Let's honest, you had no clue. Yet. We had no clue. We had no clue we had to stop in at a at each country to or each province to check in, get our boat figured out, whatever. So we're following him back to his office. He said it's like 20 minutes away. I'm sure we'll get a ticket out of it somehow, shape or form. Hopefully he's a nice guy. We just made an honest mistake. We're gonna go get our boat checked out for invasive species. Hopefully we don't have any of those on our boat. That'd be great. And then we're gonna get back on the road. Hopefully so he doesn't find those 50 walleye. Stick with poach. us. All right. We poached those walleye. Oh, that's right. We didn't, you think he's gonna find them? No, we didn't keep any walleyes. Don't listen to him. <laughs> but we'll show you guys the process of what actually is gonna go on here. Yeah, we'll probably get some kind of ticket out of it. So stick with us. We got the clear, the okay to leave the uh, the game warden. We got everything clear. We actually walked away with a warning. Not bad. Uh, now we are at Core Lane. I would say Core Lane, yeah. Core Lane, something. Uh, we're going to try and get some local intel here. Spencer is the best with talking to locals. Uh, well, right. we actually talked to the game warden of all people. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about, about that part. the lake we're going to go to. So We're going to see if that lake's good. We're going to see, ask these people if it's any good. If it's any good, we're going to buy some gear. It's middle of summer. I would imagine those lake trout are probably at the bottom of this lake. It's a gin clear lake, so we're going to go check out and see what they got in here. There's another bait shop in town, sir. Bait shop? Yeah, another shop that might have some more fishing gear than they got here. Slow up. All right, so I was talking to that local guy at that other bait shop, and he told me that they, we call these cowgirls um, in the States, but all he was using, he's just using, they call them willow leaves here. He's just throwing this behind. I don't even know what he's throwing on here for a bait, but I'll figure it out. He said he's just fishing like 40 feet and just trolling it back. This will sink most of the way down, so we're going to grab a couple of these for trolling because it's a lake we've never been to, so we're not going to sit on one spot and jig that's going to cover no water. We need to be trolling, moving water, and covering basically where all these fish could be. I don't know if they're in 40 feet, 100 feet, 200 feet, um, but we're gonna try it out here and we'll go from there. Feel my heart forever beating down. Don't know why it's always doing this. If I was smart, I what is it like being on the road, Spence? Right, look at the sound. I haven't slept in like four days. <laughs> Stressed right out because we don't have service or Wi-Fi anywhere in this freaking country. We get pulled over by game wardens left and right. Thank God for Tim Hortons or we'd be absolutely <laughs> screwed. It's like, it's so hard to show you guys like, We've had to upload the video probably eight times. What, do we export it like four times? We lost it once. We lost it. It's, it's just been like, and there's no service. We finally just got through another town. We're seven hours still. It's 5.30. We're seven hours still from where the trout are. So, But it doesn't get dark here. Yeah. It's dark for like an hour or two. So we might just stay up all night and fish. <laughs> we don't even know. Like, Is there a midnight bite? Is there a 6 a.m. bite? You'll never know because it's still daylight out. <laughs> That, that's like what we're dealing with right now. This video is probably like, it's off to a crazy start, day three. Um, but yeah, do we have anything else we want to add right now? No, we're trying to go lake trout fishing is where we're headed right now. That's the goal. We're trying the to get The game warden fishing. told us about a really cool lake that yeah. I'm sure you've seen already. And we're going to go see if we can catch some fish out of that lake. We bought some stuff at Canadian Tire, some cowbells, some jigs, some tubes, some plastics. We're going to try it out and see what we come up with. But yeah, the, the, the stresses of being on the road are getting to us. We've already gotten into a few major... This is Alex right now. Up, <laughs> highs and lows, and then he just plummets. And then like two minutes later, he's way up, and then he's way down. And then he'll just yell at me and say... And then I'll just try and be dad and try and keep him in 
line. No, no, like I'll, I'll say a joke to him and he'll be like, you want to get punched in the face? Like, <laughs> all right, Spence, like, relax. And then Spence will yell at Ethan and then Ethan will be like, well, you don't even know what you're talking about. And then Ethan will yell at me and then it's just like a big, it's just, all right, cut. How's it going, sir? Good evening. How's it going, guys? I'm glad you're yeah. oh, Well, thank you. Just putting you over because you're speeding. 141 in 100. Oh, it's 100 here? It's 100, yes. Oh, I thought... It's not 100 miles. I invited them in Oh, I tried to turn around on my own But the only way back is way back home Steak and cheese, baby. Oh, yeah. Steak and cheese. Alright, yeah. Steak. Oh, you order over here. Alright, steak and cheese. Steak and cheese, please. Yeah, with wedges. Wedges, yes, please. Yeah. So, what are you drinking? Uh, I don't know. I'll do a Caesar salad. What, what am I drinking? Um, give me a beer. <laughs> Can I get a, a large coffee, please? What would you like in it? Um, one cream, one sugar. Mm -hmm. Extra Bailey's? <laughs> Extra Bailey's. I'll do a Caesar salad, please. Without the chicken? With chicken or without? Without, okay. And then I'll do a chicken, bacon, ranch wrap. Alright. Are you drinking anything? Uh, what do you got on tap? Uh, we got a lot here in the fridge. I was talking about beers, though. <laughs> <laughs> we got Jamaica and Rob. Alright. Want to try Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh my god, this looks so good. Dude, Timmy's is the freaking deal. Why don't they have this in the States? They, they do, but they can't figure it out the same way. Like, this is genius. If you're a germ freak, you just unwrap it. There's the elusive Spencer on the phone with his girlfriend. But it's getting dark outside right now, so we actually are probably not going to be able to fish tonight. So the plan is to roll three more hours to that lake that he suggested, and then fish for lake trout in the morning, continue this video over, and then if we catch some lake trout in the morning, wrap that video up and then keep on going. It's a lot, but hopefully that all works out. We've still got three hours on the road, so let's get back on the road. Okay, so it might not seem like it, but it's very early in Alaska right now. It doesn't really get dark. This is Alex Perrick's life to a T, okay? As I'm unloading the truck, he's standing there like this. Hands in his pockets. Nice and warm, too, right? Nice and warm. He's not warm right now. Alex, take 30 seconds out of your life and organize your suitcase. Because this is Alex Perrick's life right here. Right here. Just a disaster. So take 30 seconds, organize it. Your life, hey, 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 just organize it and all will be better. It's 4.30 in the morning. I got woken up to him screaming about a lake trout bite that we don't even know. Is it even in existence No, out but there? it's right here. We're going to go do it. So <laughs> organize your we, life. We somehow made it here last night. How, oh, hey, should we tell the story real quick about the rabbit? Oh, <laughs> we no. got him. We got him. So we're him. seeing like caribou, elk. <laughs> we saw a grizzly. All of a sudden, I like wake last up night, to... when we're, when we're, we didn't even say it. You just said we just saw a caribou. Like, what are you talking no. about? Last night when we rolled in here, like super late, like I was driving, <laughs> and he was over there. You know, he's like, he's like, go slow, don't do anything. And then all of a sudden, I'm driving, and I like see something run out, and I scream. And then he starts screaming at me because he told him I gave him a heart attack when there was a little rabbit that There's ran out. There's a freaking out. rabbit in the road. But I guess I'm supposed to hit the rabbit. I didn't know I was Meanwhile, to... I've been seeing like elk and caribou <laughs> and grizzlies like trying to not total the truck out. He's like screaming off because a rabbit for goodness sake. <laughs> but that's where we're at right now. We are all pretty tired, but we are gonna, we're, we're gonna try and get, we got, we got a lot to do, obviously. We, we gotta got get this, to do. everything organized. We gotta rig our rods up and then we've got to get out and try and catch some big old lake trout here in the middle of some mountains. I didn't even know where to begin Oh, I tried to turn around on my own But the only way back is a way back home
have finally organized the whole boat. It's been kind of a stressful morning, but we're finally kind of together. Look at this. We got a 12 inch graph we stole off Spencer's guide boat to put on the John boat. I really didn't want to come up here and get lost, so. <laughs> we got a 12 incher. We got, we got, we got it on this boat. We're just kind of rigging it all up. We've got actually a sticky mount uh, that hopefully is going to adhese since it's 40 degrees outside in July up here in Canada. But uh, we're going to get all this stuff together, get out of here, and then uh, grab a quick bite to eat, get some diesel fuel, and then catch a 40 pound lake trout. Is that too high of expectations or is that good? That's a little high. A one ounce weight would not work. So what did he do? He put on a one ounce tungsten because I, I, we have no idea how deep we are. So he must have been close to the bottom. And I'm gonna go with like a, probably like a three quarter half. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm getting down how deep enough. I have no idea how deep you are. Not a clue. I would go past these planes. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, there's two planes? Yeah. There's a helicopter or something. Saw you. <laughs> Do you have one? I don't know. Let me know. I'll let you know. You want me to reel it in? Dad, I think I got one! like the most cliche outro ever but you know we had an awesome day out here didn't catch many fish we actually touched one fish today but you know it's it's been a lot of driving we finally made it to where like it looks cool wouldn't you say spence yeah it looks pretty gnarly saw some good wildlife today beautiful lake we only fished it for a couple hours we're gonna hit up the next spot just right up the trail here it's like 45 minutes away we're pretty tired obviously but we're gonna end today's video here we combined day three and the beginning of day four together. Uh, Ethan's gonna do some editing while we drive a couple hours up into the mountains past, uh, where are we going to some springs now? Some springs and then we're gonna fish a waterfall. So, see ya. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. Appreciate all you guys and uh, hopefully you guys are liking the Alaska video so far. So far, day three, day four, and uh, we're gonna keep at it.